بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم میں اسلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپریٹ گورننس اینڈ وی آر موونگ فارورڈ ود لیڈرشپ اسپیکٹ آف کارپریٹ گورننس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈو این ایکسرسائز اینڈ دس ایکسرسائز از بیسکلی کالڈ لیڈرز ویو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو میک دس انٹریکٹیو سو دے فور آئی وڈ لائک ٹو ریکویسٹ آل آف یو ٹو پلیز ٹیک آؤٹ اے پیس آف پیج اینڈ ہیو اے پینسل اور اے پین وچ از گوئنگ ٹو بی ریڈی اینڈ بیسڈ اپ آن دیٹ وی ول بی موونگ فارورڈ ود دس پرٹیکولر ایکسرسائز وچ وڈ بی گیونگ a perspective towards leadership, uh, especially in the context of a student of corporate governance. Now, uh, when we are talking about leaders, then leaders differ in how they view human nature and the tactics they use to get things done to others. This exercise is intended to encourage students to reflect carefully on their current views on leadership. So we have leadership dilemmas. Uh, we see that leaders have different styles. We see that leaders take different decisions. We see that their perspective is different. They look at the bigger picture. And many a times they are looking at the long term rather than the short term. And therefore, uh, it could be that the leader's decision might even be in contradiction of a follower's uh, perspective. Uh, Nelson Mandela, one of the top leaders of the 20th century, uh, he basically uh, mentioned once that uh, leaders have to take difficult decisions. And a leader is not a leader if they cannot take those difficult decisions, which would not be popular. So we see. that in Nelson Mandela's leadership, uh, Nelson Mandela would take those decisions which everyone thought at the moment would be wrong. But in the long term, they always emerge to benefit the nation. And that is what a leader should do. So let's look at this exercise, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you will be thinking about each point uh, that I'm talking about and either agree or disagreeing with it. And then at the end, you will have a complete score. And you can share the score with me uh, later on uh, through some communication. So the first, uh, the first perspective is, overall, it is better to be humble and honest than to be successful and dishonest. So the first point is, overall, it is better to be humble and honest than to be successful and dishonest. So uh, usually, uh, when we're looking at this particular point, uh, the answer is always going to be humble and honest. But unfortunately, what is being practiced is something else. We see this at the global level, we see this at the national level, and we see it at the institutional level. But Again, it is a matter of perspective to see that is success more important or is honesty more important. And sometimes uh, when you want to be successful, then you are thinking of doing different shortcuts, uh, of doing things uh, by uh, maybe uh, undertaking different corrupt practices and sometimes uh, being uh, non-merit based and therefore uh, there could be many compromises. Uh, the second point is if you trust someone completely, you are asking for trouble. So uh, is it that we have to trust people uh, 100% or 50%? But then there's another very famous saying that uh, either there is 100% trust or there is no trust at all. Because even in 99% trust, it basically means that you don't trust the person. So again, it's how you look at uh, leaders. Can we trust leaders? There's something which has been going on in Pakistan uh, for many years, which is called the trust deficit. And that trust deficit is basically with the leadership. Uh, do the uh, words and actions uh, work in symphony and harmony? Or is there a divide uh, between the words and actions of any uh, leader? So that is very important. Uh, a leader should take action only when it is morally right. So again, uh, many people talk about this, that leaders should always take morally right uh, questions. And therefore, one should be very careful of how things are being done. Now, uh, when we are uh, looking at uh, leadership again, another question which emerges is, a, a good way to handle people is to tell them what they like to hear. So again, is it that uh, leadership is being about being a populist? Is it about uh, only talking what people want to hear? Or maybe sometimes sharing what they don't want to hear, but would be for their betterment. There is no excuse for telling a white lie to someone. And again, that is very important that uh, can leaders speak lies? Should leaders speak lies? And what is the extent to uh, lying that can be accepted by the public? So that is very, very modern. It makes sense to flatter important people. So uh, there's this thing that uh, buttering or flattering uh, or praising people uh, unnecessarily, uh, that tends to get the work done. Should leaders indulge in that? Most people who get ahead as leaders have led very moral lives. So again, uh, this is something that we do see. But on the other hand, we also see uh, that there are many leaders who have basically reached 
the pinnacle of life or of their careers uh, through uh, immoral activity. So, that is extremely important and uh, you have to decide ke what do you think is correct or incorrect and you will uh, then reach a final score. Uh, well, another question is, uh, is it better not to tell people the real reason you did something unless it benefits you to do so? So, yeah, this is a perspective that you can look at that uh, do we keep secrets, do we share secrets, uh, what are uh, professional secrets, what are institutional secrets. Uh, we have the official uh, secrecy act as a law in Pakistan, uh, should that be applicable in the corporate sector, should it not be applicable in the corporate sector. All of these questions are basically coming uh, to our mind and you can again see that do you agree or disagree with them. The majority of people are brave, good and kind. So, is it that humans are fundamentally uh, good and kind and brave or is it something which is opposite to that. Uh, please take a decision. Uh, is it hard to get to the top without cutting corners? So, uh, usually many people think that without cutting corners you cannot reach the top. So, unless you know how to cut them only then can you reach the top. So, this is uh, another question. So, ladies and gentlemen uh, based upon these different questions what I want you to do is is write uh, that you think it is correct or incorrect uh, or it is true or false and then you count uh, how many um, corrects you have and how many incorrects you have and see which is the larger number. So, uh, again uh, the statements themselves are a learning process, but more so it would be a reflection of your uh, understanding of leadership, of ethical behavior and of doing things morally correct. So, do we want to do them or do we not want to do them that basically differs from person to person. Thank you so much.